Iraqis of all backgrounds, of course, are caught in the middle of what's happening there, including Christians. One million of them have fled religious persecution in the past decade, and now they are on the run again, trying to find sanctuary wherever they can. Stuart Greer has the story. For nearly two millennia, Christians have worshipped here. This is one of the only places in the world where they still pray in Aramaic, the biblical language spoken by Jesus. Its roots may be ancient, but Reverend Isha David's congregation is growing in this Christian enclave known as Ankawa. They accept us here. They welcome us, he says. We are peaceful people. We like always peace to our neighbors. Amid the turmoil of the Middle East, this corner of northern Iraq has become a sanctuary for persecuted Christians. The latest arrivals fled from Mosul, where ISIS militants took control of the city. There is uh, two families here, and uh, one family here, one family here. In all, six new Christian families have arrived on this street alone. But 18-year-old Yusuf and his father Samer still don't feel safe enough to use their real names or show their faces on camera. They escaped with their lives, but everything they owned was grabbed by the Islamist fighters. They're already taking our houses, he says. They're taking our things that belong to us, our land. In the last decade, Iraq's Christian community has been decimated, plummeting by 75 percent. More than a million have fled the spasms of bloody persecutions. Combine that with the civil war raging in Syria and Iraq's latest crisis, and some 12,000 Christian families have found refuge in Ankawa. Actually, in Kurdistan, there's nothing going on, and it's really good, and we're all of us happy about it. What you notice is that most of the churches here are fairly new. In fact, at least four others are being built to accommodate the growing Christian community. But the influx has brought its own problems. There's a shortage of housing. And even though new buildings are going up, the cost of living is expensive. Half of the new arrivals will try to immigrate to join relatives in Europe, the U.S., and Canada. Yusuf isn't sure how long his family will stay, but one thing is certain, they will never return home. Do you think your family is going to go back to Mosul? No, no. It's so impossible. Impossible? Impossible. Now they will stay in one of the few places where Arab Christians can find peace in a region plagued by chaos and religious violence. Stuart Greer, Global News, Ankawa in northern Iraq.